Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Goldborn. Last time, we conquered an area again, and we're still waiting on traps, and building mechanisms, and other fun things. This time, we're gonna keep doing all of that, because every episode seems like the last one before it and the next one after it, I guess. Uh, but, that's that. So, in the meantime, we're still waiting on that army to come back, or the two squads I sent out. Because um, I can't do anything until they either die or come back. Um, I can't set a new uh, military up until then, so that sucks. Um, oh yeah, we also got a uh, uh, new item. A new uh, uh, Fey Mood item. I don't know what you call it. Artifact? Yeah, that's the word. Words are hard. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got one of those. So... Yeah, that's about to it. Um, not much else other than that. I probably shouldn't be building more mechanisms at the same time that I'm forging stuff, because we're going to run out of room. Oh well. Oh well. So, let's just kind of do another news. Another news. I'm a terrible person. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm not a terrible person, but or at least not for this. Um, so... One thing that I uh, that I think is odd about me, well, it's not really that odd. I've never drank soda. Uh, I don't like caffeine. Um, I probably should drink so, or I probably should drink some caffeine. Uh, I've taken caffeine pills, but I don't drink it. I usually drink fruit juice. And uh, recently, uh, somebody I know was like, "Hey, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't buy brand name uh, fruit juice because it costs two dollars." <laughs> Uh, you should buy, uh, uh, you should buy the generic, because it's exactly the same. And I went, you're right, that sounds like a great idea. Um, <laughs> and I was totally wrong. They were totally wrong, because it is not exactly the same. Uh, because the way they make two dollar gallon of, uh, of juice, uh, even cheaper is... All the things, here's the thing, if you're trying to save money on, like, on fruit juices, <laughs> you have a problem. You have, I'm not nearly that bad off that I do that. Uh, I, I need, I do need money from all my debt. I do not need money for uh, fruit juices. The four two two dollar over one dollar gallons of fruit juice. Let's put it that way. Um, or is it liter? I don't know. But anyway, so I got it. And the reason, the way they do it is they remove sugar and they remove, they add more water. So it ends up, you end up with this very sour water. <laughs> And uh, I have it though, and because I'm crazy, uh, or more that I'm just stubborn, uh, I refuse to get rid of things once I buy them. So even if I hate them, I'm gonna drink it, or I'm gonna eat it, even if I hate it. Because once I've committed to it, I can't get rid of it. I feel like it's wasting, and I hate being wasteful, so... I was like, okay, pour it out, and I poured it into a plastic cup. And I'm listening to it, and it sounds like the, it's eating through the plastic. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. I know it's not, at least I don't think it is, but it sounds like it is. Never heard liquid sound that way. And it still tastes absolutely god awful. Can confirm, tastes awful. So there's your two minute intro on don't cheap out on fruit juice. You'll regret it. Although it's entirely possible that I'm just weird because, uh,. Uh, oh wait, they're back. Real quick, it's not awesome because I have a weird, I don't, I don't have a sense of smell, so my sense of taste is like a third of most people's. Um, you brought me back a bunch of garbage, that's fine. How many goblins did you kill? That's what I care about. And did any of you die horribly? That's the other thing I care about. In that order. Um, undetected. Searched them. Uh, stole an artifact. Stolen artifact. Stolen artifact. Stolen artifact. Stolen artifact. Stolen artifact. Stolen artifact. And you left. <laughs> Guys, I didn't send you there to just steal everything. I sent you there to murder people. Alright. I mean. I mean, thanks? I guess? I guess it's kind of awesome that you snuck into a place uh, that had like a thousand goblins in it and you managed to uh, 
steal everything from it, but... You can steal a bunch of... I think they're all books, though. Yeah, you bought me... These are all codexes. Okay, never mind, you brought me a bunch of books. Oh. Disappointment. Disappointment ensure ensues. Okay. Um but they're back now, so I can put somebody new in charge. Um Who do we have that I don't need? Uh who's not in charge of anything else? We have a fishery worker. Hmm. <laughs> Congratulations, fishery worker. I don't think he's in charge of anything else. Um, certainly hope not. Hard to tell when they're all, like, coming, but... Uh, I don't think I stole him from one of any of the other guys. So... Yay? Anyway. Uh, they're on alert. Uh, so... No uniform, that's fine. We're gonna set you up with some stuff. Hook him up with some, uh, copper so he can feel really good before I send him back out again to go, uh, to go die horribly. Copper greaves. Although I'm a little sad they didn't attack. That's the one thing I'm a little mad at. I mean, I'm not surprised, but I'm a little sad. I kind of wish they had, because I wanted to know how many goblins they were going to murder. But apparently they slipped in and out without anybody noticing. So either the goblins are just real shit, or these guys are like master ninjas in full steel armor. Uh, amazingly enough. I'm not sure which. I'm not sure which is more terrifying. That the goblins are all fucking failures, or that my dwarves are all ninjas, who in full steel plate can just, like, steal everything that's valuable and leave. Not sure which. Not sure which is more terrifying. Uh, oh wait, that's gauntlets. I don't need gauntlets. Need boots. Need little booties for my uh, for my dwarves. Uh, shirt. There's some armor. Hat. Uh, pants. Gloves. Boots. Need a shield. And need a weapon. Steals steal for the good. Steals for the useful people. <laughs> you get to have you get to have a copper spear. So we're just gonna let everyone come back, do their thing. Oh God. Yeah, we definitely need to slow down on the whole. All right, they're done actually making the mechanisms, so they should catch up pretty soon. Um, meantime. More weapon traps. It's like chicken soup for the soul, almost. Somehow. Oh god, none of this is... This is why we pay attention, kids. Oh, I might get less than masterwork spikes, and can't have that. Our spikes must be the best. I really want the difference between you and certain death to be poor quality spikes? I didn't think so. This is why we won the cold. When we, this is why we won the Cold War, kids, because we had better quality spikes that didn't fail in the middle of battle. All right, that's good. Still gonna do that. Why are you losing? Oh god, we're below 10,000 drink. I will prevent myself from overreacting to that. I have enough jobs to do right now. Um, Alright, so I think everyone's back. No one's traveling anymore. Okay. Cool. Now we can hook other people up. Now we got ourselves a farmer. Congratulations, Mr. Farmer. Uh, you're now in there, sort of miller. 
he's pretty useless. A siege engineer, Glazer. All the new people are basically useless. Uh, soap maker. Uh, hmm. Brewer. Uh, hunter. Herbalists. Congratulations, you're now part of the military. <laughs> If you guys survive training, you'll have to go rule over a place on your own. It's like the, uh, it's like in Dragon Ball Z, you know, if you work for the Frieza, Frieza organization, you get your own planet. Not sure what you would do with your own planet, but I guess that's not really something you thought about before offering that policy. But what would you do with a planet? That just seems like a lot of work. Congratulations, you've been a helpful person. Now your reward is more work. Right gauntlet, left gauntlet, grease, helmet, some boots. Uh, shield. Oh wait, no, I already got that. Weapon. Copper spear. Congratulations, you are now equipment. Or equipped. Although I'm Pretty sure I'm actually like. I think I'm uh, actually conquering places faster than I can uh, get rid of dwarves. Or acquire new dwarves, not get rid of them. Uh, this is a bit of a problem because. I'm sort of limited by my ability to get more dwarves. So. Wait. Oh, yes, thoughts. Like, what am I missing? Left, right, get yourself a shield, get yourself a weapon, you're good, alright. On the plus side, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to take over that, uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to take over that 1,000 place, I think we have to raid it a few more, a few more times. I'm gonna do after I'm done equipping these guys. I'm gonna send the squads back out to attack openly and hope they don't die horribly. Um, I have zero idea why there's a thousand, a thousand people there supposedly. Uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And this game doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So it's entirely possible that it's not actually a thousand and that those are all animals and shit. It's entirely possible. I got some boots. Get you a shield. Get you a weapon. You're good. Is there is there a dwarven equivalent to uh, GIs? A dwarven equivalent to being general infantry, or uh, whatever you call. What they were called in World War II before they were called GIs. Or basically, you were just put in there with like, hey, here's your M1 Garand, and here's your helmet, good luck. Uh, sounds fucking terrifying, honestly. Not sure why, not sure why we would ever, as a species, decide that was a good plan, but hey. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Still, holy shit. Holy shit, that's just terrifying, honestly. Let's just hope I never do anything in this like that in this game, because my dwarves will not be not be well equipped enough for that. Uh, not be prepared for the the hell that awaits them because of my stupid decisions. I do kind of wonder if any of them. You know what? You gotta wonder sometimes if, in universe, you sort of have to wonder if the dwarves ever like worry about the sanity of the person directing them. Like, if you're the overseer, and your your foreign policy amounts to poking bears until they attack you, and preparing for the end times by trapping the outside, you, you gotta wonder about that. You gotta wonder if you would follow that person. Uh. I wonder if you'd question their sanity. 
Case of disaster. Then again, they have followed. They did follow me through the uh, the whole butchering uh, goblin thing. So I don't know. Maybe they're all uh, culpable in in the disaster that is my uh, my fort. Honestly, that was one other thing I saw um, on the forums was Drunk Fortress. Now, I don't drink myself. I'm not a huge fan of drinking personally. I don't give a shit if anyone else does. Um, <clears throat> but, I don't know, I always found it hilarious that they had a, uh, a fort that was made by successive, ver successive drunk people who had no idea, who had no real conscious ability to do things. Just sort of hilarious, honestly. <laughs> Everything is everywhere and nothing makes sense. That's how Dwarf Forges was meant to be. Uh, we're not gonna have enough spears, I don't think. Oh god. We're not gonna have enough spears. Because I don't think we're going to. We might, I might be wrong on that. I'm usually wrong on specific numbers. Numbers have never been my strong point, and I'm usually terrible at counting, or planning for counting. Alright, left, right. <laughs> Welcome to the Dwarven Military. Use your standard issue copper shit. Good luck. Shirts. Okay, we only have so much. This is why this is such a pain in the ass to do. Probably should just set it honest. Um, the only reason I'm saying it is because every time I've ever done it the other way, it just didn't work. So the game doesn't really know how to handle uh, dwarfs disappearing. Apparently, left, right, boots, boots. Shield. Oh, wait, maybe we do have enough spears. Never mind. I'm just dumb. I'm dumb. Didn't pay attention. Uh, male shirts. Uh, this one, this group gets cut out. Maybe it will actually have the uh, ability to get things done. I kind of wonder if I should make some more steel stuff, but I don't want to lose valuable steel things. So. Wait, you don't need two left gauntlets, you need you need a right gauntlet. Uh Copper high boots. Alright. Alright, come back with your shield or on it. That's your job. That is your job, guys. By which I mean you're probably all fucked. Anyway, uh, do we send the military out right away? I think we do, considering this takes so long. So... Yeah. Alright, uh, pillage it. So, there's your job. Do not steal livestock. Not bring you back useless animals. Alright, good luck guys, attacking 20 on 1,000. Hopefully those are animals and not goblins, because there's a thousand goblins there. They're probably all fucked. In which case, try and take as many down as you can. <laughs> Before you all die horribly. That's your job. Job is to kill as many as possible without dying. Why are these not set to melt? Well, now they are. Um, what is this here? Let me dump all their clothing. All right, whatever. Um, a whole bunch of stuff we need to melt. So we're gonna let them melt for a second. Let them melt. Um, hmm. Uh, 
Yeah, that's what I thought. They got, they got, they got a little, uh, yeah, they got a little, uh, little, uh, back, backlogged on all of these extra steel stuff that needs to go away. So, we'll let them melt all that. I actually know if I'm falling behind on steel. I don't... I didn't check. Probably should. Um... Steel, 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 where are you on the list? Somewhere on the list. Iron, gold, silver, copper, nickel, zinc, bronze. There, steel. 1,066. Okay, we still have plenty. Um, starting to wonder if I should, like... Oh, God. I forgot about all the bars. Yeah, or whatever. We're good. That's the that's the good news. Is that <laughs> the good news is that we are where we are. You know, I just thought about it. I haven't actually looked at this at this thing anymore. But holdings and tribute. Uh, you can request workers. Mostly the guys that we sent there, I think. Which I don't want to do, but... I don't remove this. <laughs> but, I could. As more workers appear there, I could probably request them back. Honestly. Which would be kind of nice. Um... Oh yeah, I forgot to check these. These are not encrusting things. And that's a problem. Oh, that would be why. That would be why. Uh, that would be why. <laughs> Running out of things. Which is okay, because we have to melt a whole bunch of stuff first. Um, what are these? They're all crystal glass. Okay, that's fine. I still need to melt all this stuff down. There's way too much of those. So we'll give it a second, and... We'll probably melt all that down. Okay, so... Hmm. Alright, so... What is this? Orthoclass. Oh. Apparently I need to cut orthoclass, not... Oh. I guess that makes sense. Oh well. Um, do I tell them to keep smelting now? Probably. Steel spike ball. Two hundred. We need more of them. We need lots of them. When the eventual goblin attack happens, and we don't know if it's ever going to attack, so. It's more like, you know, this fort's turning into, like, a porcupine, where it's just, like, a bunker, and everyone on the outside is just like, why is, why are the dwarves such, why are the dwarves so, uh, so hostile? Yeah, why are they preparing so, uh, so desperately to, uh, prevent the end times? It's pretty much where we're at right now. Uh... Why are you sad? Tend meeting. I don't understand why you're sad. Why are you under so much stress? Angry dwelling upon getting into an argument. Uh, not only after being away from friends from too long, uneasy after decent meals, embarrassed after watching a performance. Uh. He created an artifact at one point, so... Does not respect the law and values sacrificed due to being nauseated by the sun. 
Uh, it's bad to avoid excitement and stress after seeing a troll die. Uh, okay. Interesting. I'm not sure why he's so sad all the time, but whatever. Seems like this fort's pretty stress-free, all things considered. We don't have to worry about people dying all the time. Pretty much liberated from the uh, threat of danger at any one given time. Other than the goblins, we have locked away in cages. Uh, but hopefully, we won't have to worry about goblins in cages in the future because we'll uh, the weapon traps will take care of them. That's the goal, but you know, you never know. That's I don't really like cave adaptation. I really don't. I really hate the fact that they get sickened by the sun. I keep needing them to go outside to prepare for the prepare for disasters. I don't know, we're gonna have serrated discs all around the third level, and it's gonna just be there's gonna be body parts fucking everywhere. <laughs> there's gonna be dead dead creatures and body parts just everywhere. Oh well. Uh, let's see. I think I've, I think we've run this one a little too long, but I was spent too much time trying to get a military up and running. So it always takes so long. I always hate doing that. I should probably just do that off off camera, honestly, in the future. I should probably just say I did it and not show you guys me doing it because it just it always like slows everything down so horribly. So yeah. Yeah, that'll probably be next time. Um, probably. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what I need to do. I'm kind of. I'm really wondering about what the result of that. Uh, I'm really wondering what the result of that attack on the 1,000. Uh, the 1,000 uh, goblins is going to result in. Either lots of dead dwarves or lots of dead goblins, hopefully. Um, they come back with nothing, I'll know that those aren't actually goblins, those are all animals. And there's just something horribly wrong that has happened that all those animals exist. I'm a little suspicious because when they snuck in there and somehow got out without being, uh, without attacked or attacking anything, that's a little surprising with the density that that should be in one place. Um, but yeah, so, you know, do investigative reporting is, uh, something, probably. Oh boy, we need a lot of, a lot of smell. At least the humans are leaving, thank god for that. Uh, probably piss off the humans a little bit more. Oddly enough, we have attacked the humans, and yet the humans have not attacked back. The goblins have, but the elves and the el the uh, humans have not. That's a little weird. Oh well. So yeah, that's all going to be next time. We'll probably uh, keep doing what we're doing. I think. See the results. I don't think. We'll, I don't know. It depends on how long it takes them to get back, or to get there and back. It seems like it takes way too long for something. It supposedly is only two days away. Uh, but uh, yeah. So see you all later.